Well, first news senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti is at Blackstone Funeral Home waiting for that motorcade to arrive. He joins us live now with the next steps in this case and some preliminary plans to honor this fallen officer, Jerry. Chelsea, we can tell you there is new information this afternoon concerning Officer Leo's funeral arrangements this weekend. We can tell you that they will have calling hours this Saturday afternoon from 2 to 6 at Girard High School, and a funeral service will be held at St. Rose Church, where Officer Leo was a parishioner this Sunday afternoon. In the meantime, we've learned an autopsy was performed this morning at the Cuyahoga County Coroner's Office. That's because Officer Leo passed away in Youngstown at St. E's Hospital, and those autopsies are performed in Cleveland. He is now, as Molly told us, on his way back to the Girard area where he'll be coming to this funeral home behind me here. At this point, though, it could be quite a while before we learn many of the details surrounding Saturday night's shooting. Of course, we learned pretty quickly Saturday night into Sunday morning that Officer Leo died after being shot in the line of duty while answering a domestic violence call at a home on Indiana Avenue. Another officer with Leo fired back at the suspect and killed him. Since then, now, the Ohio State Bureau of Criminal Investigation has taken over this case, which is essentially two cases. The incident involving the death of Officer Leo, as well as the incident where the other Gerard officer fired and killed that suspect, alleged suspect. I spoke this morning with the superintendent of the BCI, and he told me this will be a very complex and lengthy investigation. Let's hear that. But then the other thing in these cases, uh, they involve an autopsy and generally toxicology, and that usually takes a few months in itself. So we, uh, even if we wrap up most of our part from BCI, we will wait till we have the autopsy and final toxicology reports until we submit a final report to the prosecutor. Now, we've learned this morning from the Mahoning County Coroner's Office, they are investigating the cause of death for Officer Leo, but they have no plans to release any information either until all of their information is back from Cuyahoga County. We will have much more coming up this afternoon at 5 and 6. For now, we're two waiting outside the Blackstone Funeral Home for Officer Leo's procession, and we'll have that for you later this afternoon online and on First News at 5 and 6. In Girard, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.